Aliko Dangote, Africa's richest man at this point in time, is currently confused and at some point he was regretting why he spent over 19 billion US dollars in constructing an oil refinery located in Lagos State, Nigeria. Why is that so? Well, in this video, we'll be exposing secrets and events that has happened and currently happening in the oil refinery located in Lagos. Well, it all kick-started on the 18th of May, 2024, when the president of Dangote Group, al Haji Aliko Dangote, announced that from June this year, the refinery will begin producing petrol and also stating that Nigeria would not have to import the product again. And to better understand the capacity of this refinery, Here's a news publication from Business Day released on the 3rd of September 2024, where it states, Our refinery will meet petrol demands of Nigeria and Sub-Saharan Africa. A lot of Nigerians couldn't believe their eyes and ears because this feels and sounds like a good news. Because Dangote refinery will help boost the economy and provide affordable fuel to the populace and to the poor masses in and within Nigeria. But then, some individuals domiciled in the country weren't happy with this development, these guys weren't too happy that Nigeria would have its own refinery. And that is why this group looked for various ways and methods to thwart the abilities and functionalities of this refinery. Surprisingly, this group is known as the NNPC. The NNPC so far so good have strategized and drew and mapped out a blueprint in order to frustrate and demoralize Aliko Dangote within his own refinery. Well, if you don't believe me, here is a publication released on the 13th of September 2024. Here it states, the NNPC has informed us that they intend to permanently station a team of 6 to 10 people at our refinery. They have asked us to provide office space for them since they will be supplying the crude of our same production and buying back the products in Naira. This statement was made by Edwin Devrakumo. And just in case you don't understand, the NNPC forced and demanded that Aliko Dangote in his refinery should create six to ten office spaces where members and officials from the NNPC will be stationed permanently at the refinery. The moment NNPC made this demand to Aliko Dangote, we knew that something was up. And that is why on the 14th of September 2024, we received a rather shocking news and update where it states that Dangote Refinery to sell petrol to only NNPCL. This statement was made by the federal government of Nigeria. The federal government has announced that the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited will be the sole buyer of the premium motor spirit from Dangote Refinery. Well, it did not stop there. It also noted that the interested marketers would have to buy the product from the national oil firm through its trading company. Well, everything looked good. Nigerians did not complain. Nigerians did not panic. And Angote did not revolt. But something rather shocking and interesting happened on the 15th of September 2024. The day set aside by the refinery where trucks will be allowed for the very first time to commercially unload refined products and sell to the masses officially. Well, here is a news publication that states the fact. Updated, trucks begin petrol loading at Dangote Refinery. Showing right now on your screen is a video taken from that particular As you can see, everything was going on smoothly and swiftly. Trucks were all lined up and stationed where they received the PMS at the Dangote Oil Refinery. And when you look closely, you notice that these trucks came from the NNPC to unload refined products. But something interesting happened. Showing right now on your screen is a news publication made by the NNPC where it states the NNPC has said it has been buying petrol at 898 Naira from Dangote Refinery. And mind you, this statement or this press release was made by the official NNPC body. But a couple of hours later, Dangote through his group chief branding and communications officer in the presence of Anthony made a clear statement to counter the assertion made by the NNPC. Showing right now on your screen is this press briefing where it states our attention has been drawn to a statement attributed to the NNPCL spokesperson in the presence of Olufemi that we sell our PMS 
at 898 Naira per litre to the NNPCL. And when you scroll down, you'll find a very, very interesting detail. It states, it should also be noted that we sold the product to NNPCL in dollars with a lot of savings against what they are currently importing. With this action, there will be petrol in every local government area of the country, regardless of their remote nature. As you can see, there's a clear disagreement between the NNPCL and the bodies in the Dangote oil refinery. But when you go through the statements made by Dangote, some key factors and key statements we are missing. Dangote did not disclose how much he sold the PMS to NNPC. But interestingly, a particular group domiciled in the country gave us more clarity and exposed what happened behind closed doors. Showing right now on your screen is a publication released where it states, oil marketers criticizes NNPC for selling Dangote refinery petrol higher than imported fuel. Well, this group is known as the hype man. In their own words, they claim that it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense for NNPC to sell Dangote's fuel higher than imported ones. Well, this same company known as NNPC did not even stop there. Showing right now on your screen is a breakdown of fuel prices from some states within the country. And when you look closely, you see the cost of pump price in Lagos State which is around 950 Naira per litre, which doesn't make sense. Remember that the Dangote oil refinery is located in Lagos State, Nigeria. And when you scroll down, you will see the price, the pump price in Borono State is around 1,019 Naira per litre. This breakdown was made and released by NNPC in their official website and its official news later showing right now your screen is a full breakdown and full description released by the nnpc and when you look closely you still see that these guys are claiming that they bought fuel from dangote at 898.78 naira per liter from the oil refinery well when you look closely you will see other breakdown you will see the npd pr fee the inspection fee distribution fee and the margin and which brings the estimated pump price in Lagos to 950.22. Remember that Angote claimed that all of these breakdowns and all of this info are incorrect, stating that NNPC are lying to Nigerians and are trying to mislead Nigerians in believing that they sold fuel to NNPC at 898.78 Naira. Well, this will not be the very first time that a corporation or a body in Nigeria try to thwart the abilities of Dangote's refinery. Remember that around uh, the 20th of July this year, a group under the NNPC claimed that uh, Dangote's uh, refined products are substandard and also claimed that the products from the refinery are potentially harmful to your car's engines and generator's engine. Well, Dangote went a step further to clear up that assertion. And that is why he invited some officers and officials into his refinery and they carried out some clear tests and the tests proved that his refined products are actually of high standards and are of good quality. Interestingly, at some point, Dangote was fed up with all the shenanigans and he was heavily frustrated by the antics employed by the NNPC. And that is why at some point he told Nigerians and the whole wide world that he was ready to sell out his refinery because he was fed up and demoralized. Well, if you want to see why Dangote opted in selling out his refinery back to NNPC, if you want to understand the contracts that signed and how it backfired, you have a video that exposes everything that you need to see right now. And that video is showing right here on your screen. So click on this video to watch it. Click on this video and I'll see you on the other side.